I'd be happy to do that trade. Yeah? Yo, let's go. Yo, we got the secret rare Pikachu. I just got one of the 230 cards that I need to finish Pokemon's entire Crown Zenith set. And unfortunately, I have zero time to relax. Oh, gosh. Because I've only got 48 hours to make this happen, or else every single card that I collect along the way will be given away. And all of the trades will have been for nothing. Well, not entirely nothing, because one lucky subscriber could win the binder, which has happened before, which means maybe you're actually rooting for me to lose. Which would be sad, but I totally get it, because cards are expensive. Okay, I'm done. Right now, I'm in San Diego, my hometown, which has two things. Really tall palm trees. I mean, look at those things. And the Union Marketplace card show. Yo, let's go. Oh, and look, the backside of Iron Man. I want one. The stark reality is, I'm not even sure how much Pokemon stuff is here. I think we could do it, though. I think we could do it. Fabio, what's up, Fabio? That's weird. But luckily, I'm not starting from scratch. I've opened up a couple boxes since the set came out. Out, and I did start a collection binder, and at the start of today, I only need 67, 68, 69, 70. 70 cards missing. It's time to get down to business. And that's when I happen to run into this guy. Yo, look who it is. We got Chino. Chino hooked us up in our very first set completion video for Brilliant Stars. And yeah, that video is almost at 10 million views. Y'all are insane. Anyway, he's looking through to see if he's got any Crown Zenith and... What do you, what do you want for it? Nothing, bro. Are you sure? Yeah, for the channel, dog. For the channel? For the channel. My man. My man. Thank you, Chino. With 69 cards left, I find myself at a table with this guy. What was your name? Cole. Cole. Nice to meet you, Cole. And right away, Cole shows me the secret rare Pikachu, which I definitely need. And with that, it's time to trade. Here's my trade binder. And as Cole gets to the end of the binder, I'm not even sure if anything has caught his eye. Well, what do you like? I like the Bliss EV. All right, the Bliss EV Altar from Chilling Rain. Let's see. 20 bucks. So it's a little bit more. I'd be happy to do that trade. You'd be helping me out. Yeah. Yeah? Yo, let's go. Yo, we got the secret rare Pikachu. You're awesome, man. Thank you. And as I'm marking off my latest pickups, a fan comes over to get an autograph. He says he might have some cards I need. This community is awesome. What was your name? Cameron. Cameron? Nice to meet you, Cameron. Gino, Cole, and now Cameron? That's a lot of C names. Anyway, while looking through his binder, we definitely found some cards that we need. The I need the Paris. That's one. I need the Manaphy, yeah. That's two. I think I saw you had an Absol. There you go. And that's three. And now he's telling me where to find more? Cameron, you are the man. I hand him my binder and he's searching through until he finally says... Oh, uh, what's the Cresselia? Ah, uh, the gold Cresselia from Evolving Skies. After a quick search on TCG Player... Cresselia gold, 750. I'm down for that. I'd be down for that. Yo, yeah. thank Thank you so much. I gotta say, trading is the best. Okay, we picked up five of the 70 that we needed, but we got a long way to go, so hopefully we can keep this up. Without even time to breathe, Cole brought this guy over to show me his binder, and... Oh, you got Crown Yeah, I got him. These are all Crown also. Oh, yes. Actually, I need some of that. Let's go to my office. And by office, I mean the tables. Hey, what's your name, bud? Uh, Austin. Austin. Austin's gonna help out. Whew, I have a feeling today is gonna be nonstop. Definitely need Roxanne. I think I need that Rayquaza, actually. Yeah, I need that one, too. So whatever we open from this, if we get any, like, good hits or anything you oh. need. Oh, no way. These guys want to add in hits from a Crown Zenith ETB. Unreal. We're gonna open a Crown Zenith together. Let's do it. Opening packs with the community. This is what it's all about. So however you want to divide it up. And in no time, this happens. Oh, oh whoa. What? Cole oh. got a full are Grant, one that I actually need. Along the way, Austin picked up a hollow electric energy and Colt found the hollow Zamazenta. I got nothing, which is okay. But first, I checked the bulk just in case. I think I might need the Aeron. I do need the Aeron. See, I need the Rayalu too. This ETB was huge because I can pick up some of the more common cards I didn't have in my collection yet. This is great, you guys. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven total. This would make a big dent in our challenge. So I hand over my trade binder and as they're looking through and I check some prices, Cool Hat Kid comes out out of nowhere and starts unpacking stuff right next to me. I have no idea what this kid's up to. Anyway, back to the trade. The seven cards up for grabs aren't worth that much, and Colt finally found something of interest. Ah, uh, let's see. Ah, uh, the Unagaba Pikachu promo, which is worth a lot more, but you know what? Like, you guys have been really helpful helping me get a good start here. So let's do it. Another seven cards obtained. Where does that put us? I don't even know, because up next, we have Cool Hat Kid. What was your name, bud? Marco. We got Marco over here, and he's got a card that I need. Cynthia's Ambition. This guy I came prepared. So I handed my binder and yo, I think he's got a camera as well. Are you filming too? Yeah. yeah, that's funny. I don't know if he was trying to be sneaky or what, but I have three cameras going on right now. So I can't really say anything about it. After several minutes, because Marco was being very thorough with his research, he decided on one of my prime cards for a straight up trade. Yo, let's go. Thanks man. Then this kid comes over and he already knows what he wants. I'm looking at the whole OGX. 
The Ho OG X? Yes, that's a good one. Oh, look at that, Deep Pocket Monster. Oh, another one. Another one. Now, my man didn't have any Crown Zenith, but he was super cool. So I traded him that Ho OG X for his Pikachu character rare. And I don't know what happened, but the crowd got even bigger. It totally started to feel like a zoo up in here, but in the best kind of way. Man, I'm getting swamped. Then I took a quick picture and then another picture and then one more because this kid was a little behind. Thanks, mom. And without time to think, another binder was handed right to me. This time from Anthony. Anthony's also working for a set of Crown Zenith. And for you, like I'll trade anything. He's being super kind, but I don't want to take his big hitter since he's trying to complete the set himself. I think I'm going to raid your binder for like the more common things actually. And after that, I find six more out of his binder. Find something in there you like. And after a minute, Anthony finds the Mimikyu VMAX character rare, which is a great card and one I'm willing to give up here. So these six, this one, what do you guys think? Pretty good? Yeah, that's a okay. good trade. Good trade, good trade. The crowd agrees. Anthony, you've got yourself a deal. Thank you buddy for your help. Wow, we've got a load of new cards now. We are doing really good. Then I sign a binder for another fan, and then I hear a voice. Let's and see. I saw you move that binder for your Evolving Skies challenge. Oh my gosh, this kid has been waiting here patiently for like 30 minutes. He's so sweet. So what's your name again, buddy? Benjamin. Benjamin, I really hope you have something I need. And he does. A Cricketune, which we definitely need. Yeah. Let's see what he likes out of my binder. I like these boys. Okay, let's make sure he really wants this one. I really like this. You really like this one? Oh. And that's when I get an idea. What if I trade you all five of these gold cards for that? Would that be good? Okay, let's do it. There you go, buddy. We got a shake on it though. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah, Benjamin definitely made out like a bandit on this trade, but I think it was worth it. Benjamin, thank you for waiting patiently. That's very nice of you. And it looks like dad approves too. And as more time goes by and I meet more amazing people and pick up even more cards from my collection, I can't help but just be grateful for this opportunity to meet the community in person and hang out. I'm telling you, the generosity is off the charts. You can have these for free. Wait, what? Yeah, for free. You're kidding. Do you have a favorite Pokemon? No. Charizard? Because you're so nice, I'm gonna give you a Charizard V-Star. Yeah. Luke, thank you for being so nice. Give those away on the channel. What? Dude, are you kidding me? I promise, give them all away. You want to say something? Nope. Your name? Brian. Brian, okay. Brian. Let's all thank Ryan. Thank you, Brian. Thank, thank you. Th look at that. Ooh, that's cool. It looks like a Korean. I think it's Taiwanese. Do we want it for free? Yes. You're just giving this to us? Yes. Thanks, Neil. And after another hour. Yo, they're playing me on the TV. Thanks, guys. And meeting a few more fans. We got Deep Pocket Monster fans in the house. And of course, a few more trades. So we're going to go like this. Whoop. Two half legends equals one whole legend. Thanks, guys. I finally have a minute to catch up. Finally, just had some time to come up for air. I've been drowning in, in a good way. And we got a lot of pickups. I'm about to do another trade. It's only day one. How wild is that? And of course, as always, it always comes down to the last few. So we'll see how much we can get through today. And then tomorrow's the big day. Hopefully we got everything we need here. After that, I walk around the floor to see if I can find anything cool. And I do. A shadowless Charizard for 650. Why are you tempting me, bro? This is madness. And also these cool cards. And yeah, of course I had to pick up this mill tank. Do you like mill tank? And at this vendor, I picked up a little Pikachu card, which was on my chase list. Then I drew some tickets for a raffle. Hey, we got a winner! And then with about 30 minutes left before I had to head home for day one, I sit down with Van for the first of the two biggest trades of the day. I'm trading for Van's Mewtwo V-Star and a Full Art Zamazenta. What did we say this was? 90. 90. Oh, and he's throwing in a Dark Houndoom from Team Rocket Returns, which isn't in the set, but uh, I want it. So we got Van here pulling out these four cards. I can't believe I'm trading these right now. We did our math. Are you sure you're good with that? Yes. Yeah. Let's do it! Yo, Van, thank you so much. Van, you are the goat. And then finally, we've got Sawyer here, who's literally been waiting this entire time to trade. Seriously, who's teaching these kids patience? Just good job, parents. And that's when Sawyer hands me the mother load. Oh my God. Then I do a little spin because I'm so excited and it's time to get down to business. Sawyer and I chat for what seems like 20 minutes, talking shop, telling each other life stories when all of a sudden, little Slim pops up. You might remember him from our jungle set video. He just gifts me a crown Zenith pack for the challenge and we actually do get one of the regular cards out of the pack that I need. Ooh, Dude, little Slims, you're awesome, thank you. Okay, back to the biggest trade of the day. All right, so we have all of Sawyer's cards here for these cards that we pulled out we did some price checks shining lugia made it a little bit more on his side but you good yeah all right man thanks swear appreciate you let's go enjoy your new cards oh i will and ian approves as well how are you almost in every video ian i don't know <laughs>
Anyway, I'm about to head home when I meet this guy who shows me something very interesting. And uh, yeah, you, you kind of have some stuff I need. I need these badly, but the one and only card he wants is this one right here. This Battle Festa Tournament Pikachu from 2014. So this card right here I just got today. And honestly, I don't really want to trade for this right now. Should I do it? I need the golds. I don't know. I don't think I could trade it today. I haven't even had it for a day. I'm sorry, man. I, I don't think I could do it. I saw it in the trade binder. So yeah, I no, too. I know. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. All right. End of day one. Back at home, I finally have the chance to sit down and gather all the pickups from earlier and see where we're at. I take a moment to resleeve everything and I start replacing the inserts and wow, we did pretty good today. But when I get to the end of the binder, I need the golds. I, I don't think I could do it. Man, I sure hope I don't regret that decision. All in all though, we picked up 48 out of 70 that we needed, which leaves 22 remaining cards. And now okay, it's time to go to bed early the next morning. While I was eating breakfast with my dog Jedi, I looked at my trade binder and there's that Battle Festa card again. And I know there's no way to turn back time right now, but I can look ahead. And today I've got 22 cards left to get or else everything I've collected so far will be gone. Jedi, wish me luck. Thanks for the support. Okay, it is day two. By the looks of it, um, a lot of vendors here today are gone. Oh man, 22 cards. I think we could do it though. I think we could do it. You're gonna build a time machine. Why not do it with some style? This may be a little harder than I thought, but then that's when I ran into Emily. Okay, we got Emily here who uh, saw me walk in. What do you got with you? See, are you sure? Can you help me open this? Cause I'm holding a camera. Emily, you are a rock star. Back at my office, I mean the tables. So I'm missing 22 cards, 22. When all of a sudden, oh my gosh, are you kidding? Thank you so much. I can't believe she pulled the full art Alessa Sparkle. How did you, did you know this was in here? That is crazy. It's only right that Emily gets to put this card in the binder for me. No way, thank you so much. Without missing a beat, Landon comes over to trade with me next. Bust, bust. And right off the bat, he shows me this. The origin form Palkia V-Star. And you have a double? This is exactly what we need. One of the remaining big gold cards. And this thing is worth a lot. And you're sure you'd be willing to trade it. But I gotta have something good first, right? He nods in agreement, obviously. So I hand him my binder and he pulls out a bunch of stuff. So we got Gyarados EX, this secret rare from Breakpoint, Reshiram, Charizard, Urshifu, Skunk Tank. Would you be happy with this trade? You're sure. Thank you so much. Yo, and we got a little applause Yo. too, this is fun. Okay. And as I'm putting the gold palkia into the binder, this kid comes in like he's a waiter at a restaurant showing me the specials. And oh yes, I'm interested. We're going through my binder to see what's missing. Oh, the Puchiana, did you have that one? Yes, I do. Sweet, he's got something. What was your name? I'm Ryan. Ryan, thanks Ryan. Now Ryan doesn't have any more cards I need, but at this point, every card counts and I need to move fast. If you offer me this Puchiana, you can pick any gold card on this page. Seriously? Yeah, pick any gold card you oh want. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Let's go, 19 left. The fact that there's like a line of kids here wanting to help is so awesome. And next in line is this guy. His name is Luke, like Luke Skywalker or Luke Wilson or Luke what I found in his binder. Boom. A Rotom V-Star, exactly what I need. And further in, he has a Greedent V. All in the while, this kid's like, Mom, I'm bored. And then Luke finally finds something in my train binder. The Umbreon VMAX from the Brilliant Stars Trainer Gallery. Great choice. And after a quick look at the condition. Are you good? 100% sure? Okay, let's shake on it. Let's go! Let's go! I love it. This family is super fun. Also, shout out to mom too. She was like clapping and into it the whole time. That was great. Two more to add to the binder. That's 17 cards remaining. And I am stoked. We are so close. All right, let's go! And that's what I meet, Alexis. Unfortunately, Alexis didn't have any crown zenith on her, but she was rocking a Vault X binder, so she was my binder twin. And inside was one of the best collections I've seen all weekend. She even had a base at Charizard on her. In really good condition too. Now, little hint, she plays a big role later in this video, but for now, I trade her one of my cards for two mil tanks, and I can definitely call that a win. Thanks, Alexis. And that's when I received this very formal introduction. Hi, uh, my name is Jackson, and Yo, thank you, Jackson. I pre oh, and his dad was just as nice. How you doing, man? I'm hey, Tom. What's up, Tom? Good it's to meet really you. It's really good to meet you, man. Yeah, we you appreciate too. your content. Oh. I appreciate you too, Tom. Now, Jackson's got an awesome binder, and I really like the 12 card spread he's got going on here. Oh, wow. These are great binders, you guys. They've got some insane vintage cards, but unfortunately, no crowns in it. We still get a little trade in, but I'm already over an hour in, and the last two trades included no crowns in it. This is not going well. But then all of a sudden, Alexis comes back with a single <laughs> card in her hand. I am a that card. How did we, what just happened? You found it over there and then you picked it up so that we could trade. <laughs> Look at this. 
I love it, okay. While she's looking for a card to trade for it, Landon comes back to my office for a meeting. What's up? What card do you need? And now we are getting twice the action. This is perfect. Alexis points to my Umbreon Darkrai Sun and Moon promo, and after a quick second, boom, it's a trade. 16 left, and I have two hours. Then Landon, who literally looks like he could work at a card shop already. I have a card that you need. Oh my gosh, yes. All right, let's shake on it. Yeah, let's go. 15. 15 left. And after a few more binders with no luck, all of a sudden, she's back. You're back again with another card. <laughs> Alexis with a Deoxys VMAX, another one that I need. Who is her supplier? That's what I want to know. And after a minute, she makes me an offer. So the Deoxys VMAX for the Lilligant? I check my watch. She doesn't give me much of a choice here. I have to say yes. Okay, here, that's yours. Thank you so much. Wait, what other cards do you need? I mean, I don't want to put you to work for me. But you are doing a great job. She really is. Let's do a quick inventory check. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen left. Maybe thirteen if we can finish this next trade with this guy over here. Hey, what was your name? Eloy's here. We got the Gardena's Vigor. This will take us down to thirteen cards left. That would go right there. And check out what Eloy points to. For the mill tank? You sure? Oh, you want me to sign it? Yeah. Okay, I could sign the mill tank. Oh, I, I see what he did there for that mill tank. Eloy, dude, you are awesome, man. Thank you. And as I'm putting the Gardenia's Vigor in, Landon comes back again. Have you got the Zero World VMAX? Yo, my guy. Here, you gotta pick something yeah, out. You can have are you sure? Yeah. You're kidding. And after a fist bump, he just leaves. This guy's legendary. What a guy. If I'm playing any sport, I want him and Alexis on my team. That's incredible. Okay, so now we're at 12 left. 12 left and just under two hours left in the show. As I search through even more binders, I remember that I'm still missing some important gold cards from the set. Maybe I should have gone through that trade from the day before. Ugh, I have no time to think about that. Melanie, I need Melanie. We got Simon and Eli here with a Melanie. And it would be a felony if I didn't get this Melanie, okay? Sorry, that was really bad. A couple of minutes later, Simon and Eli both find some vintage promos and... Let's call it. Thanks, guys. We got a Melanie. We are so close. 11 left. We got an hour and a half. Do you think we're going to get it, Ian with Ian? Okay, I was hoping for a little more enthusiasm, but I'll take it. Why do I do this to myself? Now I'm over at Ben's booth. He's our DJ at Card Party, and he tells me a secret. Put aside some cards. Oh, you did? You. Okay, dude, look at how awesome this community is. They're always trying to help out. And after several minutes and a quick picture with another family and a minor breakdown. Oh, gosh. We finally make a trade, and guess what? We are getting closer and closer and closer. The Ryan, the Full Art, and yes, one of the gold cards that we needed, the Giratina V-Star. Ben, my guy, thank you so much for this trade. Without time to even blink. And look who's back. It's Alexis with a card. And she's got a Leafeon V-Star in her hand. So you've seen my binder like three times already. Do you need to see it again? No, you just have to. Are you serious? You're serious. Alexis, again, coming in clutch for us. Anything you want to say to the viewers out there? Subscribe. Subscribe, that's right. Okay, let's see if we can finish this thing. Thank you so much. I honestly can't say it enough. This community is awesome. And these kids, oh my gosh. Quick check on the card count. One, two. <laughs> We are eight away. I'm going to the other side of the convention now to meet up with Ryan. I don't know where he is though, but we got about an hour left. And it was at this point, a random thought crossed my mind. What I'm most worried about are the darn regular rares because I mean, those are just regular rares. We might have to rip some packs to open those later. For now though, over at Ryan's booth, I'm showing him what I need when. And the, the friends full arts. I do. No way. I've been looking for these all show. Yes, this is exactly what I was hoping for until. Oh, is someone buying it? I think someone bought it earlier. I had. Oh, each, really? I had two of each sitting in these uh, back pages. Oh, no here. way. Thankfully, he does have one card that we need and it's a big one. The gold Dialga V-Star. That would be the final gold that we need. I hand Ryan my binder and this is an expensive card to trade for. So we'll see what he pulls out. He's breaking out the calculator and after a few minutes, this is what he's got. A Dialga, not my Dialga, this Dialga from Astral Radiance. The alternate art. Dialga for Dialga. Dialga for Dialga. I mean, it's like one for one almost. Yeah, I'd be done. A Dialga for Dialga. Let's go. Seven more in less than an hour. We need to be quick. Seven left. We got most of the big hitters and we have like the regular rares left. This is going to kill me. Oh man. We may need to rip some packs to pick those cards up. We will see. Speaking of C, I see that the tables are gone. This space is looking empty now. That's not good. Friends in Sinnoh, friends in Hisui. Those are the two last full arts we need. We need the Soul Rock and then like a few randoms. Always coming down to the wire. Always coming down to the wire. Why do we always come down to the wire? I don't even know, I don't even know. 
And out of sheer luck, at one of the vendor tables still here, this guy pulls out a stack of cards and... Oh, actually, oh my oh, gosh. Go. Those are the, uh, the... I can't talk. Okay. We've been looking all show for these. So we set up quickly for a trade, and for these two cards, he pulls out... 10th anniversary movie promo, Celebi. Oh, okay. A very fine choice, for sure. And he checks it out, does a little calculation, and boom, it's a trade. Two more closer. We got five left. Hello, friends. Uh, welcome to the binder. And hello, other friends. Welcome to the binder as well. Oh my gosh, we have five left. And they're like the obscure ones. Soul Rock. And to make matters worse, we've got like 30 minutes left before this entire thing shuts down for good. Look, everybody's leaving. I gotta scramble fast for this. I, I might need to just crack some packs. Some packs. I got Alexis, she's back with a tin this time that she wants to donate, but I just can't accept this. You keep that. You've done so much with video. And wouldn't you know, after meeting some more awesome people and signing some autographs, Alexis comes back and she's got the soul rock that we need in her hands. No, you didn't. I just pulled it in the pack I opened. This is insane. Mom is getting in on this too. Mom always picks the good pack. Oh my gosh. This family is absolutely goaded. We got the soul rock. Awesome. Thank you so much. Four more. Four more. Four regular rares. Trading for these is gonna be tough because who has these for trade? And there's no bulk to be found, so you know what that means. It is time. I need to buy some Crown Zenith. To crack. Uh, well, why is it coming out? Some packs. One, two, three. I have less than 15 minutes left, so I'm gonna need some help. I recruited Lil Slims and Emily to help, and wait. Yo, and Ben brought some stuff too. Oh, How much do I leave for that? Deflecting the question and getting down to business, Ben, you are a saint. Oh my gosh, people are coming together. This is awesome. This is what it's all about. I do a quick rundown of what's left for everybody here. Absol, Absol. the Leopard, Hoopa, and Agron. That is it. Here we go, and everyone gets a box to open. Here, Emily, you open that one. You open this one. You come sit, Alexis. You open that. We're all in this together. Let's go. Let's go. If you pull, like, a really good card, you, you can keep it. And we just rip. The Shaman's always good luck from yeah. there. We got the Mew. A Duskull. In the Mewtwo. And the hits are coming. Oh, Perloin. Hey, we, we need regular holo. Just not the hits we need. Why is it so hard to pull? Real life hard. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm dropping it. Oh my gosh. I'm dropping it. Yo, Alexis. Let's get this. Alexis, again. Everyone comment Alexis is awesome because she definitely came through again. And she also taught me how to correctly pronounce lie part. Three more left, you guys. How are you so lucky? <laughs> then Lil Slim shows me his dark cry, which isn't what we need, but right behind it. Hey, that's a hoopa holo. Hey, oh, we got the hoopa. The hoopa. Slims. Oh. Slims, let's go. Lil Slims coming in with the hoopa, and then this guy comes through with some sleeves. Thanks, sleeve guy. Hoopa, we got the hoopa. Everyone's contributing now. This is insane. Hoopa. I got, I got. No way. No way. No way. No way, Absol. Absol and I am absolutely going crazy right now. Everybody picture Absol in your mind. One more card. Absol, number 76. That's all that's missing. This is absolute madness, and we're doing this all together. Are there still packs left? Are we out? Back. We seem to have run out of packs. Oh. Look for an, uh, an Absol. Maybe, maybe we missed it. But we didn't. There wasn't any Absol in any of those packs at all. We got like 10 minutes left. It's not looking good until all of a sudden it's Ian with Ian who brought two boxes for us to rip just in case of an emergency. And yeah, this is definitely that. Okay, then you have to open some of these packs with us. You guys are seriously the best. All right, let's go one box at a time in case we don't need the second one. Ian handed them out to some of the other kids to rip and then... Absol, 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 Ab... Oh. No Absol, but then it was Lil Slim's turn. Slim, Slim, Slim. 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 Pretty like sharp. Ugh. Yeah, we didn't get it here, but we do have one more box. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is getting nuts. So we rip that open, pass out the packs again, and try once more. We're running out of time. Come on. Absolute, Absol rock. Log straight. Nope, nothing in Ian's pack. Emily's turn. Ryolu and a Mewtwo. All packs have been open and no Absol. I thought I was done, but. What is this over here? Remember earlier when Ben just kind of got up and left? I'll be right back. Well, he came back. Oh, bro. Okay. Who's the luckiest kid here? Me. And Ben just hands a bunch of kids tins like it's nothing. Ben, this is so awesome. We have to get this now. All right, Ian. And just like that, Ian ends up pulling. Oh, Agron. Yeah, another Agron. We already got that one. And then in Emily's tin over here, she's about to uncover 
Oh, a Hattery VMAX. Yeah, that's not what we're looking for either. Pat, I think I have that flaw. I, it's okay. How are we not getting it after all this? And after dozens of packs, we're running dry. So run. Oh, so sick. It was a hollow. <laughs> but check this out. We're all here ripping packs together from young to old. Yeah, so we gotta make sure we clean up after this, yeah? And honestly, no matter what happens, I'm just having an absolute blast. <laughs> this is so fun, dude. This is what it's about. It's why I do this. And it's also why I'm hosting this little event called Card Party. You can check out the website at card.party. And it's exactly why that no matter what happens, you know it's always worth it, because it's about the community. But you know that I really want this Absol too. And so do all these people who came to watch the final packs being opened in this challenge. And as we open more packs and pack after pack after pack, no Absol. The event is about over and this is absolutely our last shot. All right, I got one pack left. Last pack magic. Last pack magic. Last pack magic. Yeah, we'll see you there. We'll see you there. I love the last pack magic chant, and I also love this encouraging hug that I got from Lil Slims too. This community is awesome, and shout out to the Union Marketplace for hosting this event. But for now, we're just gonna let it roll and let you watch exactly what happened. All right, Psychic Energy, Friends and Sinnoh, Laron, Rescue Carrier, Grubbin, Energy Search, Salandit, Oddish, Coughing, Carnivine, no matter what happens. Do we have a good time? Yes. You know, sometimes in life you don't always win, but it's the experience that counts, right? But do we hope it's an Absol? Yes. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Last card. A Snorlax! I'm sad, but you know what? I'm not mad about it because one of you can win this entire binder, minus the Absol, of course. Just hit subscribe and catch me on a live stream soon where I'll be giving this and many more Pokemon items away to subscribers. Woo! Peace out. Woo! Yeah, so we gotta make sure we clean up after this, yeah?